We all know milk does a body good, but the chocolate milk you remember from school lunches could soon be a thing of the past. The USDA is finalizing new rules for the 2024-25 school year that limit flavored milk and added sugars. News 10's Aaron Bowling explains tonight the rules and tells us what people in Mid Michigan are saying about them. A few years ago, supply chain issues left Holt Public Schools without chocolate milk for about three months. When chocolate was off of the table, our consumption overall, uh, remembering back to my invoicing, um, we were about 50% less. Their school's director of food services says it's a tricky topic. He says Americans consume too much added sugar and sodium, but the food still needs to be enjoyable. Frankly, my view, um, I know some views from the dairy councils have been too, if it's at least chocolate milk, it's better than no milk at all. While chocolate milk is a fan favorite at Holt Public Schools, coming in at seven grams of added sugar, a lower sugar substitute could be possible with the new regulations. It's a bad idea because uh, one person's idea of what they think is the right amount of sugar is somebody else not. Mid Michigan residents telling News 10 a healthy diet is a good idea, but the federal government regulating kids' lunches is not. It's okay to, you know, to take out some of the stuff, you know, but not all of it. I mean, some kids need to have a treat every now and then, even if it's at lunch. The USDA working to cut added sugars, while some hope for a sweeter deal. In Holt, Aaron Bowling, News 10. None of the proposed updates to school meals are final yet. The USDA says it will make a final decision with enough time for schools to prepare for the 2024-25 school year.